Japan is the kingdom of K-cars. 35% of the cars on the streets are K-cars. This has been the case since the start of the automobile industry and remains so even in the current economic downturn. Even during Japan's economic bubble in the 1980s, known as Japan's golden era, the proportion of K-cars was over 30%. Why does Japan, once the world's second largest economic powerhouse, continue to favor small cars? And why are box-shaped cars, which are not popular in other countries, the mainstream K cars in Japan? There are several reasons, but it's clear that it's not just because Japanese people are frugal or practical. Before we delve into the reasons, it's important to understand that Japanese people have been accustomed to living in cramped spaces for a long time. Japan is one of the most densely populated countries in the world. You might think it's not that small when you look at its total land area, but the story changes when you consider only the habitable land. Japan is a country with a vast amount of mountains. 73% of Japan's land is mountainous. Japan is the only country where four tectonic plates meet. These four plates push and pull against each other, creating large mountain ranges across the country, including the highest peak, Mount Fuji, at 3776 meters. There are over 20 peaks exceeding 3,000 meters and 50 peaks over 2,000 meters. So if we exclude these mountainous areas and consider only the plains, the area is similar to the Korean Peninsula. In such a limited area, a much larger population has had to live compared to the Korean Peninsula, leading to constant internal conflicts to secure the scarce arable land. When even this wasn't enough, piracy became necessary. This is the fundamental reason why Japanese pirates known as Waco were rampant for many years. Due to this geographical environment, the Japanese have always lived in cramped conditions. After World War II, the goal of national economic reconstruction led to the development of key cars. Japan's automobile industry began in the 1920s with assembly plants for Ford and GM, but was strictly controlled by the U.S. military government after Japan's defeat in 1-2. However, the outbreak of the Korean War resurrected Japan's automobile industry as there was a need to repair U.S. military trucks. Japan seized this opportunity to develop its automobile industry by creating very cheap cars that ordinary people could afford. These were the K cars. Early Japanese K cars had a maximum length of 2.8 meters, a maximum width of 1 meter, and an engine size of only 150 cc, almost unimaginably small by today's standards. These cars were nearly like four-wheeled motorcycles. This was possible because most Japanese people were relatively small in stature. These cars could be parked in small spaces and were perfect for narrow lanes, making them an efficient use of Japan's limited space. The pressure on space still affects Japan today, making K cars the smallest in any country. As these ultra mini cars gained popularity, Japan's automobile industry grew significantly. In the 1970s, a dramatic increase in female drivers gravitated towards key cars due to their ease of parking and driving. In the 1980s, during the bubble economy, the popularity of key cars waned, but by slightly increasing their size, the industry overcame this. And since the 1990s, with the prolonged recession, key cars have continued to be popular due to their low cost and maintenance. The persistent love for K cars from the early days of Japan's automobile industry can be attributed to two major factors, the stringent parking proof system and the low maintenance costs. Since 1962 in Japan, you can't buy a car unless you have proof of a parking space. You must secure a parking space within a 2 km radius of your residence to register the car. In Japan, even apartments require separate parking fees. In large cities, these fees range from $220 to $365 per month. However, until 1991, K cars were an exception. Parking enforcement in Japan is stringent, with heavy fines and license suspensions after three violations. So, the exception for K cars was a significant benefit. Now, in cities with populations over 200,000, K cars also need parking spaces. Still, K cars are much more advantageous than larger cars regarding parking issues. Due to earthquakes, Japan has very few multi-story underground parking lots. Given the limited space and extremely high land prices, there are many mechanical parking towers instead of surface parking lots. These often have size and weight restrictions, making K cars much more convenient. Also, a minor parking mistake on narrow streets results in hefty fines, making small key cars more preferable. If you don't want to pay for parking, you must live in a detached house. However, owning a plot of land above a certain size incurs exorbitant taxes, so most Japanese people live in small houses. In such small houses, there is no alternative to K-cars for parking. 
Japan is one of the most expensive countries in the world to own a car. The second reason K cars are popular in Japan is that their maintenance costs are significantly lower than those of regular passenger cars. The automobile tax for K cars is about 73s, whereas it is 3 to 10 times higher for regular cars. One of the most significant burdens of maintaining a car in Japan is the vehicle inspection. In Japan, a weight tax is levied based on the car's weight. The inspection is so strict that even minimal parts replacement can easily cost around $100. For K-Cars, it's about a third of that cost. Additionally, K-Cars have doubled the fuel efficiency of regular passenger cars, lower insurance and registration taxes, and can get toll discounts on Japan's expensive highways, making them a logical choice unless you are quite wealthy. There are other reasons as well. Japanese people don't keep their cars for long periods. Although they are generally frugal, few people drive their cars beyond 50,000 km. It may seem surprising, but this is because the older the car, the higher the automobile tax, and more importantly, the cost of vehicle inspections increases significantly. Since they need to buy new cars frequently, the relatively cheap K cars naturally become popular. Moreover, since the 1990s, salaries for Japanese office workers have stagnated, while car prices have nearly doubled. In fact, they should be reducing car sizes even more. Japan's unique road conditions also contribute to the popularity of K-cars. The roads are narrow and many residential alleyways are maze-like and extremely cramped. In such alleys, increasing numbers of elderly drivers find K-cars the only solution. If your home is in one of these narrow alleys, no matter how wealthy you are, there is no alternative to a key car. Japan's public transportation can be inconvenient. Living without a car is nearly impossible, especially outside the city centers. Bus fares are high, and the intervals between buses are long. Recently, bus routes are increasingly being shut down due to driver shortages caused by population decline. These conditions contribute to the growing demand for K-cars. Unlike other countries, Japan offers a wide variety of K-cars. True to its reputation as the kingdom of K-cars, Japan has various designs and uses for K-cars. There are not only sedans and wagons, but also convertibles, sports cars, and even campers. With such a wide range of choices, various people can select K cars according to their preferences. However, despite how accustomed they are to living frugally, Japanese people are not immune to the discomfort of the small interior space of key cars. Thus, Japanese K cars have evolved to feel more spacious. The solution they found was the box-shaped car. The rectangular shape with a higher ceiling provides a sense of openness better visibility and considerably more interior and storage space, making them extremely popular. However, the boxy shape does present an issue with air resistance at high speeds. But since speed limits on highways in Japan are strict and K-cars are mainly used for city driving, this is not a significant concern. That's why the top three most popular K-cars in Japan, Honda's N-Box, Suzuki's Spatia, and Daihatsu's Tanto are all practical box cars. Despite their practicality and cost-effectiveness, Japanese people do not choose K-cars out of sheer desire. It's closer to the truth that they have no other choice but to select K-cars due to economic, policy, and environmental reasons. Additionally, there is criticism that Japan's automotive industry has focused so much on K-cars, which ensure stable domestic sales, that it has neglected the luxury sedan market. Therefore, the Japanese people's peculiar preference for K-cars might be seen as one of the manifestations of Japan's Galapagos Syndrome, 